Howdy y'all, it's Christmas, and that means it's time of year to do a little bit of Christmassy things with gingerbread houses. Last time I made a gingerbread house, I asked for one billion likes. Justin, cut back to that clip. And we hit one billion likes! And today we're going to get a billion likes, so make sure to smash the like button on the video. Smash the like button. Also subscribe, I'm losing subscribers fast. My career is vanishing before my eyes. Gingerbread making house. I haven't done this in years. Apparently, this hat is thematic for the gingerbread house. You can see what the gingerbread house is. Wow, isn't that nice? But I don't know what it is. So let's take a look. It's a barn! Holiday barn with gingerbread kit! It's got cows! Won't this be a fun thing for me to do? Great! So, we've got our die. We've got our things. I actually need the box. Do I? No! No, I don't need the box. Jocelyn, can't we just have a little fun around here? Why do I always have to follow the rules? Step number... One, the pieces of the house. We've got many pieces. Pieces, here, look at them. Wow, we've got stars and things here. We've got gummies, we've got red, we've got white, and we've got our little things. Oh, ooh, hold on, look at this. We have a piping bag that will fill all of our stuff in. And then of course, we've got our lovely Little guys right here. Look at these little fuckers. Isn't that funny? Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Isn't that nice? Listen! Daddy's a little thirsty for some holiday cheer. Hmm? The holiday cheermeister. Holiday cheer. Holiday cheer. With those kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Fuck. Mmm, <sighs> yummy. Do a little stir. Happy holidays, folks, from me. Now, we've got a couple of piping bags here. There's a part of me that wants to look at the thing. What if I, is it cheating if I look at it really quickly? Uh, I wouldn't even read that much of it. One teaspoon of water, thin, slightly. And the kids jingle belling and people and jelly. Friends of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We're gonna put in a little bit of water because it says so. E for enema. I'm going to do an eggnog enema today. Okay, this here, oh, he stepped in the eggnog. I stepped in the eggnog and my toes are wet. I don't much like it. Can you see it? Can you see? Can you see the wet? That's eggnog. Eggnog on my toes. Yucky. Listen, the holiday season is here and it gets messy quick. I think most people don't like cleaning and I think even more people don't like vacuuming. But that's where Roborock 
can come in and save your life. There have been countless times, especially around the holidays, when I have people over and I need to get ready and I need to clean up my place. I need to maybe cook a meal and everything like that. And I just don't have time to vacuum. And so with Roborock and their Q5 series vacuum, you don't have to worry about anything. Once you get it out of the box, it's very plug and play. All you do is charge it up, send it on its first mapping cycle. It's gonna go around your house and figure out the lay of the land. It's gonna be avoiding furniture. It's gonna be even avoiding wires and things on the floor. And then you just kind of set it and forget it. You can either trigger a vacuum cycle straight from your phone, or you can do what I do, and I just have it on a schedule. So automatically, it goes around the house and vacuums every single day. And I don't even have to think about it. I know that this is a sponsored video, but I actually reached out to Roborock to see if they wanted to sponsor a video because their vacuum has like literally changed my life. It goes off every single morning and I don't have to worry about vacuuming, especially when I have a dog who sheds. It is so convenient. It is so incredible and it is 1000% worth it, especially with how convenient it is. Like not only can you schedule it so it cleans by itself, but it also has a dock that it goes back to and it empties itself and goes back out. So you you don't even have to empty the bin. You do have to empty like the main bin like once every like couple of months, but that's it. So if you're someone like me who is busy and forgetful and especially around the holidays has a lot of stuff going on, you don't need to be worrying about vacuuming. All right, let Roborock take care of that for you. So if you'd like to make your life more convenient, you can go in the link in the description and check out Roborock and the Q5 series robot vacuum. Huge thanks again to Roborock for sponsoring this video. Check them out in the description down below. They say to do it with the red one because the red one does feel mighty thick. But the white one, not as much. Oh yeah, now that's red. Look at that. I actually really hate the shade of that. That's, it disturbs me a little bit. Stir this bad boy up. Oh yeah, that's way too much water. Way too much water. Well, no, it's way too much water. How can I help this? What if I make my own solution? Hold on, I'm not only an entrepreneur, I'm also somewhat of a scientist myself. Where's the flour? If we just put some flour in it, then it'll be thicker. Hmm? Then it'll be a little bit thicker. That's how that works, right? It's working a little. Look at this, huh? Look, it's getting thicker. Stir it. What's the difference? What's the difference between stirring and doing this? Don't look at me. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, next we'll do this guy. Oh, baby. Perfect, perfect. Look at this. Good, okay. So, what we have here, we have these little guys for the corners of the house. If we put it like this, yeah. Then we take this, wait, this. Wait, but how, oh, <laughs> fucking idiot. I was like, how would the other side happen? Like that. I'm a genius. This goes like this. This is a monkey screech from Thank <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, good, good. Now we pipe our dreams away, okay? Just a little snip, just like <coughs> circumcision. Now we're gonna go from bottom 
to top. Uh, this is not staying well. Just, hold on, stop. Go in the thing. There we go. No. We've got the four walls together. I don't think I'm gonna have enough frosting for this. There's no way. Is that a cum stain? What are these for? Oh my God. I get it now. What I should do is put it on the shit first. We're gonna outline it, ready? Watch. I never made a gingerbread house as a child. Why? Well, because mom and pop didn't love me. So this is me learning for the first time. This is what we call healing our inner child. <laughs> Put this on the back, like so. I know you can't see it, but let me tell you, it's beautiful. Put this, like this, this doesn't, This doesn't fit. What am... <sighs> the dimensions are off. These were pre-cut. This doesn't fit. This doesn't fit. Okay, hold on. You stay here. I've got a solution. These boards were measured incorrectly. So I have to make changes on my own, okay? So let's see what we're working with. Almost exactly an inch, okay? And this is two inches. So we gotta cut this bad boy in half, okay? Oh, cut the... Now, we can make our cut. <laughs> Look at him. How is it not cutting? Oh. Fuck. You know, sometimes you just gotta do it by hand. All right. It's fine. It's fine. This here and this here. Nicely done me. Now we need to add the front door. Hmm. What is so funny, Jocelyn? What is so funny? I'm just having a little bit of holiday cheer. Is holiday cheer funny to you? Hmm? It's not the door. <laughs> it's yeah. not the door. No. What do you mean it's not the door? Maybe you're just too much of a fool to see it. <laughs> what does that look like, huh? Especially after this, watch this. This shit's about to blow your fucking mind. What does that look like to you? What does it look like to you? A door. Doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'd think so as well. It's got a dorsal fin, <laughs> much like a shark. My frosting has about run out. We'll put some snow on here real quick. Now, what is a barn? Mostly red. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of this on here. Okay, we're gonna spread it out. Nice and even. Oh my fucking God. Careful. Don't lose your temper, Ethan. It's the only thing you have. No! My stocking fell, Jocelyn. You didn't tell me that my stocking fell. My Christmas cheer. What am I without my stocking? A fool. Do you think I want to be a fool for Christmas? No. Time to do some festive decorations. We've got all sorts of balls and bits on here. Yes. Lovely. Doot, doot, 
What if we add a little bit of red right here? This looks good, right? No. Candy corn. Candied corn. There's simply no way, simply no way this were ever to occur with anyone. Oh, one teaspoon of water. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely did a little bit more. There's no way, there's no way that this would have happened. Who would have been able to make this? But wait, you're th thinking. <laughs> we're going to take the remainder of this and do some fun designs. What's this? A window peering in to some, something? Another window? Nay. It is another window. But wait for it, wait for it. Ooh, it's a fancy window. It's going up and around. And who's inside? Who's, in, who's inside? <gasps> is it said Spencer? No. No, no, it's not Spencer. Santa. <laughs> Santa. What does his hat look like? This. His hat looks like this. Ooh. And there's a Christmas tree. Just like this. Christmas tree. Wee. 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 Santa's got huge jugs. Massive. This massive guys right there. Nipple, nipple. Good. Now what's this? On the side? What is it, Jocelyn? You decide. Hmm? Spencer? Let me just draw a portrait of my boy. <laughs> How does he look? <laughs> he looks like a fucking mermaid. <laughs> a mermaid. The tail. That's my beautiful boy. That's my beautiful, beautiful boy. Well, Jocelyn, I think that I've made a beautiful house. Hmm? Let me show it off. Uh -huh. Thumbnail. Now is the last part of every good gingerbread house. Nay. Gingerbread home. And then he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. A nice cross section down the center. And serving up a plate of joy to you. Look, it's Spencer. To you at home. The great gingerbread house is not only an activity, for you and yours, but a feast at the end of the day. <laughs> like Santa Claus here says himself. Don't, I'll be watching you. <laughs> In your sleep. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. And wait, Justin turned me into Steve Jobs. There's one more thing, listen. You guys better be subscribing, okay? And liking the videos, because I'm trying to put out different stuff, not just gaming anymore. I'm trying to do different things, all right? So you better like it. I'm trying my best. I mean it, all right? I'm not joking. I'm not joking around. Spencer, do you have <laughs> do you have <laughs> do you have any festive greetings? <laughs> Spencer, will you tell them to subscribe and like the video? Hmm? Spencer, do you have a Christmas wish? Tell them. Tell everyone, <laughs> everyone what you're hoping for for Christmas. I want Santa's jugs. Wow. But well, I hope you get it, Spencer. 
I hope you get it. Well, folks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. So, <laughs> hope you're having a great Christmas. I don't know when this is gonna be posted, but happy holidays. Hope it's cozy and nice, and uh, I'll see y'all later. All right? All right, bye.